Have you been told by your electrician that you need an RCD and you're not sure what one is or what one does? Well this video should give you a simple overview of what they are and what they do. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. To understand an RCD we're just going to have a quick look at how energy enters your house. In your street or nearby there's a, a transformer and this sends a cable into the house with a live feed and returns that feed on the neutral. So you have the live and neutral connections. These are the cables that actually make something function and work. You also have another conductor which is the earth or the CPC. This doesn't make anything work but it's a protective cable. It protects in case there's any faults. So that's how the power actually enters your home. So here's the floor power. Power comes into your house, goes through a fuse board, then onto your socket and onto your light and any other circuits. Returns on neutral and you have a circuit. Here again is a protective conductor which is protecting you from any electrical fault. So here we have a close-up of a socket circuit which has got a kettle plugged into it. This is a healthy circuit. Lights coming in, leaving on the neutral. There's no fault which is causing the fuse to trip. So here we have the situation where there is a fault. The kettles become live. The line conductor, the live conductor, is touching the outer case of the kettle and it's made the kettle live and if you touch that you get a shock. Now this is where this protective conductor comes in, we mentioned before. This conductor takes a fault all the way back to the transformer in the street then it comes back into your house, into the fuse, it trips the fuse. The fuse breaks, trips, switches off the ply to the socket and makes sure that the kettle is no longer live. That's actual fault path that happens if there's a fault. And that should happen very quickly. It should happen generally within 0.4 of a second. It can take up to 5 seconds. That's in the healthy circuit when everything is working correctly. And that obviously is a little bit of time. If you, are, you happen to be touching that kettle in that very short period of time before the fuse operates, you could still receive a bad electrical shock. It takes a very short period of time for the MCB to trip, but for it to trip in such a short period of time, it needs an awful lot of current. A lot of amps have to flow in this circuit to make sure that this fuse trips in the time it's supposed to trip. And this is one of the downsides. It does need a lot of current to create a condition for the MCB to trip. This is why they've introduced RCDs. This is our kettle circuit again, and it's still protected by the 32 amp MCB. But this time we've got the RCD installed on the circuit as well, a residual current device. And what this device does, it measures the flow of energy coming into the house, through the MCB, onto the socket, and ultimately to the kettle. Now if it detects the tiniest fault on this kettle, on this circuit, it will trip power, to the installation and prevent any fault appearing on the kettle. Now it does this at a very low level of amps. It only takes 0.03 of an amp to make this device operate. Remember before the MCB it could take hundreds of amps to make this trip. So therefore if you are touching that kettle the potential fault current that could appear on that kettle is greatly reduced and this is what the RCD is there for. It's to add additional protection to what's already provided to make sure that in the event of a fault, power's cut off at a very reduced level of amps and also at a very quick time. This device should operate in milliseconds. So the RCD reduces the possibility of you getting a serious electrical shock when you touch a faulty appliance. It doesn't take very much power to give you a shock. Anything above 0.03 of an amp the wrecking can start becoming dangerous to life. And it also trips very quickly. So that's what the RCD does. It trips power at a very lower rate than a normal MCB. And it also trips it very quickly. So it's a very good device for additional safety in your electrical installation. That was just a very basic overview of what an RCD is. The follow-up video to this explains in greater detail how an RCD works, the different types of RCDs, if you need an RCD at all. So anyway, look forward to seeing you in the next video and thanks for watching. Okay, bye now.